Man, welcome to the 22nd episode of the Dealer Show. Yeah. I'm with my big dog today, big shotgun, two in one, and we got two in one shotty. Yeah. Young son of Sam in the bill. It's the first time we've done two people here, so. Yeah. What's cracking? Same old, same old, man. Back, back here doing this. Here to talk to the brother, to <laughs> let the world know what we got going on. Welcome home. Thank you. Welcome home. Finally. That was a minute. Yeah. How long were you down? Like three and a half years. Fuck. It's been a while. Yeah. It's been crazy because, you know, I talked to you where you were down. Crazy. A couple times you called me. I was like, no, other countries and shit. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, damn. Yeah. You know what I mean? But we've been doing music. Yeah. I think me and Sam been doing music like around 20 years now. You know what I mean? 20 years. Oh, it's been a long time. Sam is, you know, shotgun, big shotgun, is 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 an originator um, in in the New Mexico rap culture and community. Yeah. This is 20 years deep of making beats, making songs, a lot of shit in New Mexico. You know what I mean? Yeah. The 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 shows, the albums. There was a lot of things that were happening for for a long time. Yeah. Look back and it's twenty years yeah. later, it's like, damn, it's crazy, you know what I mean? How are you feeling? Feel good, man. I just kinda just trying to get everything back together, trying to get you know what I mean, the, the the whole scenery, my old trying to get a hold of all my old people that from two and one, you know, trying to get everybody back together, trying to get start this new movement, you know, producing my my son's music here. He's, he's uh, the new generation, you know, right. the new two and one for the new New Mexico stuff. So, just trying to work on his stuff and he basically his album. Trying to release all my old stuff. I just I need some help. You know what I mean? From all the music that I lost. You know. Right. You're trying yeah. to find. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. You're trying to find all the music that yeah. you created all these years just yeah. got lost in the yeah. in the wind in mm-hmm. the mix. And, and people out there have it. People yeah. out there have it, so yeah. I need it. So kick them songs up. If you got you got an email, they can email them to you. Yeah, sos two and one nine eight at gmail dot com. If you got any two and one songs, anything, send it to Sam because he's fresh out and he's trying to get his music back. He's trying yeah. to find all this stuff. Trying to put it back for New Mexico, man. Everybody asks me for the music all the time, so I want to release it back, give it back to the people. You know what I mean? Because all our music. It's for the people, you know what I mean? It's for New Mexico. Now, Duke City Music, that's what I created, you know, and, and I just want to keep it going, you know I mean, for the new generation. Right, right. So, you know, I don't want to stay on the negative too long, but you just got out, man, and, you know, if you don't if you don't want to talk about any of that, that's yeah. cool, but, you know, like, what, what, what got you caught up? Yeah, I fell in a possession, you know what I mean? It's just me uh, just being a drug addict, you know what I'm saying? Just, just... Being on the streets, you know, the, the the whole pill epidemic that hit us in 2007, you know, that hit the whole streets. I mean, it messed everybody up here in New Mexico, you know, and it's still a big problem. So. Right. Uh, what pills were those? Yeah, uh, the Oxy 30s, you know. Oxy 30s. Yeah. yeah. So, and and the, you basically got busted, yeah. fell in possession of a yeah. firearm. Yeah. Got caught up. Yeah. Just yeah. Not Insane. in the right yeah. mind. Not in the right mind. Just lost. And, you know what I mean? Depressed out there. Just. Everything we've been through, you know, and just uh, for sure, yeah, that's just what it is, you know. Yeah. Just now I'm back and, and sober, you know. Were you and, writing a lot of music while you were down? No, uh, I could I couldn't do it. I, I couldn't. I was just in there, just trying to live that life in there, you know, and, and just it was hard for me, and I missed it every day. Every day I get up missing it, missing my music. Right. You know? No equipment. No. No nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Unless you're making a beat on the yeah, table, yeah. it's not really a whole lot of yeah. options, and those yeah. beats get old. Yeah, you just gotta <laughs> leave the street life. You know, what I mean? you gotta live. You gotta leave the streets outside and, and live that life in there. You know? Yeah. It's, just, it's hard. It's, it's, I mean, let's touch on that. Like, what what do you mean that life? Like, what what are some of the things that that life comes with? You yeah, know what I mean? It's just the whole uh, politics. You know, the politics. Yeah trying to live straight in there and, and lead by example in there, you know, just uh, trying to get your mind right. So when you get out, you know, so it's a lot of 
stress, you know what I mean? A lot of stress in there. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's not, it's not yeah. easy, man. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Very hard to concentrate yeah. and want to write music. Yeah, definitely. Or make songs and... Yeah, yeah can do it, yeah. Right? <laughs> It's too hard, man. For sure. Yeah. Uh, did you have a lot of stuff that you had put together before you went in? Yeah. But like, it's all gone. It's all gone. Like, yeah, I was trying to put everything out right before I got hit. And... Yeah, I lost a lot of it. So let's go back into two and one. Like, you know, when you guys were putting out albums and, yeah. and doing shows and, and at the height of, you know what I mean, what two and one was yeah. at that point, um, how many albums did you guys put out? Yeah, we put four. We put four albums out. The first one was in 2000. The second one was 2002. The third one was 2004, and the fourth one was 2007. Yeah, those are the last albums I put out. Huh. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I think you guys uh, were probably one of the first ones to work with Do or Die. Yeah. Right? And and I remember that was huge. Yeah. You know what I mean? At the time, At yeah. the time, that was humongous because yeah. we all listened to, to Twista and Do yeah. or Die and Pope Pimp. And I mean, that's just yeah. kind of like a New Mexico thing. Like, yeah. if you were from mine and your era yeah. at that time, yeah. you were listening to Do or Die. Yeah. You were listening to Twista, yeah. Master P, all that. Yeah. But so when you guys had dropped the song with Do or Die, I was like, man, that's huge. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I was excited about all that when that came out. Was what weird. year was that? That was 2007. 2007. Yeah, 2007. We did a concert with them, performed that song with them. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there was a lot of shit yeah. going on yeah. back then. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. 201 was it was a big thing, man, at that time. Right. We were probably, yeah, we were doing it. I mean, we were on the radios. We, were, we, were, we had about 17 artists at one time. You know what I mean? Right. So, like there was a lot. Yeah. There had, was a lot. Yeah. We had what? Paul G. We had a Nicholas P. Stimpy. You know, Stimpy. <laughs> For Joker. Sure you know, we had a little Joker. Mariachi. Yeah. Yeah. We had a grip of people, man. Yeah. There was a lot. And a lot of people forget about the one of the originals who started with us was Lady Luscious. Do you remember that? I do remember Lady Luscious. Yeah, dog. yeah. yeah. Well, you take it that's back. One, that's one of the albums we put out too. It was Lady that, Luscious. Yeah, I'm trying to find her album too, so we can put it back out. I heard she's doing good. Shout out to Lady Luscious. Lady man. Luscious. She was out here uh, yeah. in deep in the rap. In yeah, the she early. was. She was hitting it hard too. For sure, yeah. she was. She I was forgot right. all about Lady yeah. Luscious. I heard she's doing good out there too. That's she has her good. own shop and stuff. I heard she's that's doing good. good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Now, the streets of Albuquerque are crazy. You yeah. know what I mean? You hope to hear yeah. that. You hope to hear people are doing good. Yeah. And unfortunately, a lot of times, you know, it's it's yeah. the other way around. Yeah. It grabs you. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. The streets are... Albuquerque is just a, a way of life. Like, New Mexico is, 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 is all one way of life, and nobody understands what we go through. Like, the, all the the rest of the world doesn't understand. Our life is a struggle here, you know? And it's, it's a lot... There's just a lot of, there's there's really nothing to do for the kids out here, you know what I'm saying? So right. we grow up with really nothing, nothing. to do. Yeah. No matter what part of the city you live in, in Albuquerque, even the heights to the nicest parts, everything's so close that, like, it, it's hard to avoid it, you know what I'm saying? For sure. It's, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Yeah, you're going to run into trouble, yeah. for sure. Yeah. And it's hard to avoid. It is. You know, and the streets out here, like you said, they'll suck you up. Yeah. You know, yeah, you get yeah, caught up, and it's a little bit of this, a little bit yeah. of that, and now unfortunately it's the fentanyl. Yeah, that's the killing fentanyl everybody got now. the streets by the boo boo. Yeah, it's, you know, it's like you drive down the street and you just see people yeah, smoking yeah. at the bus stop, yeah. and it's like bonfire right it's down right, the road, right like next here. door. I was like, it's crazy. Oh no, man, it's yeah. crazy. You know, yeah, it's, it's but it's everywhere. Yeah. It's everywhere, man, and it's just like we got to help the younger people, you know, try to try to go a different direction. Yeah. You know, like you got your son, yeah. come over here yeah. and do this because yeah. you don't want him doing the shit you were doing yeah. when you were that age. Never. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Because that ultimately puts you in a position to go to jail. Yeah. You know, exactly. you don't want that. Yeah. You know what I, I mean? I got blessed, you know what I mean, that my son and my daughter are still here, still right. good, you know. And just, I get the chance to still be here with them and be right in my right mind for them, you know? Right. And just uh, Twice push, the life. Yeah. Third, three times the life. Huh? That's, his, <laughs> that's his album. That's what he yeah. called it, you know? Yeah. So, like, 
I just want to like try to get the put the whole two in one movement, and I want to try to collaborate with everybody from New Mexico that needs beats, that needs some type of help. I want to try to be this hub and try to grab everybody instead of everybody hating on each other. I want to try to bring everybody together so we can make a movement, make our own music, make our own New Mexico sound. You know what I'm saying? Instead of trying to follow everybody else. Like the West Coast, Texas, everybody has their own music. Why can't we have our own music? Right. Have our own style, right. you know? Right. Our own radio station that plays our own stuff. Right. You know, so that's what I'm trying to get at, you know. And Who are some of your favorites out of New Mexico? I mean, you've been in it a long time, yeah. so you've seen a lot of different people, yeah. you know, come and go. Who are some of the guys that you Hatch, man, I've always liked Boy Dirt, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I've man, Dirt is, dirt, dirt. Dirt is a, a unanimous yeah. favorite. Yeah. Everybody that comes yeah. up here that I ask that yeah. question, it's like, oh, you know, I got to yeah. give it to Dirt, man. I've always liked that dude, that, man, you know? Yeah, that boy's hard. He's a cool dude, too, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I've always liked Smoke G, too, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Smoke G's Smoke always Eagles been are. doing it. Yeah. And like there's these bunch of young a uh, bunch of young ones now. Uh right. what's his name? Rondo or somebody. That's that's some youngster. I've been I've been listening to his music. He's yeah. he's pretty good too. He there's a to, lot. Yeah, there's uh, a lot a young Henny Otto and the crown and yeah. you know, it's a different generation. There's a bunch of new yeah. artists, you yeah. know what I mean? But there are also those guys that have been putting in work and they're going hard for a long time. Yeah, so, yeah, know, yeah. I trip out on that. Like, yeah. it doesn't stop. You know what I mean, Juan Gabito. Yeah, yeah. he's well, one of my favorites. Hey, that's another one that I, doesn't I, stop pushing. You know, Juan, I mean? I, I'm giving you plays, dog. You're in my playlist, yeah. and yeah, I hear your yeah. shit. I rap Juan shit all the time. Yeah, that's one thing I gotta get with him too, because we we started a long time ago doing stuff together. And, and yeah, I want to get back with everybody, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yeah, Juan Gambino, he's a good friend of mine too. Yeah, I haven't talked to him in a long time. Yeah, so, no, yeah. he's, you know, Juan is, is one of the few artists out here that I can say consistently just push through. Yeah. He just, yeah. I, you know, at this point, I don't even think it's about anything other than Juan's love of music. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he makes banging music. Yeah. And I, I just, I hope he makes music for yeah. it forever. Stop. I hope it doesn't stop. Yeah, I hope yeah. it just keeps coming because yeah. he's been so consistent, man. Yeah. And he really yeah, has carried yeah. the torch for yeah. for us. You know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. So. And you know what, thing Like, no matter what, all these years that 2-in-1 music stopped coming out, I never stopped making music. So I have so much music to release and I'm gonna start putting it all back out and uh, there's just a lot of songs that I'm missing but I still have a lot of songs right now that are called the lost tapes the two and ones lost yeah. tapes and I want to try to put all those out and uh yeah I just want to keep it pushing you yeah know? me and Mariachi did City of the Duke and that got a lot of plays and then yeah. you uploaded a few yeah. songs that we had did yeah and those got some yeah. good amount of views yeah you know and those I mean? were just underground songs those that I was just, just on the streets yeah. you know what I mean I was, just that's when I was made, jump, jump yeah. to the studio yeah. knock some shit down yeah that was and that shit went hard yeah. and I'm glad you put those up because yeah. Without that, yeah. you know, I wouldn't yeah. probably have never heard those again. Yeah. I, you know, I said this before. There's been so many times I went in the studio. I recorded probably a thousand songs. Yeah. There's been so many times I went in someone's studio and I recorded two or three songs from them and I never heard them ever right. again. Yeah. I Who knows where they that. went? You that's, know? I've been. I know exactly what you're talking about. And we're talking. Yeah. This is over 20 years, so yeah. that's you know hard drives and hard drives. Yeah. I mean, those things are gone. Yeah. And you know what's crazy is that we were doing music that good back then. You know what I mean? That's 20 years ago. You can imagine what we're yeah. gonna do now. For you sure. Know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. No, I mean, I'm glad that we're still here, and you know, I'm glad. I'm glad God's blessed you uh, with opportunities yeah. to still be here. You yeah. know, your life's yeah. been crazy. I mean, yeah. you, me and you've been homies a long time, and yeah. you know, I'm just, I'm glad that, I'm glad that it's 2022 and we're here. Yeah, you know, a lot of bullshit, a lot of yeah. trials, tribulations, yeah. and just going through it. But yeah. you know what? At the end of the day, yeah. thank God, man. Here thank we are. God. Like, you yeah. know, I'm gonna make it happen, though, man. Like, I'm really gonna try hard. To, to, to make some type of movement here, you know. And, are you are you making beats right now? Yeah, every day. Every, every what day, are you using? Every day, Logic. Logic. Yeah, I've been using Logic. Mostly. Any any jewels you want to drop for any young producers that might be watching? Yeah, just uh, just gotta get with me, you know what I mean? Yeah. You gotta get with me. You know? <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll make something happen. Yeah, you know. Yeah. You gotta put that two and one stamp on it, you know. That's you it. Figure it out. Yeah, just. My son's basically the next thing right now that, that we're focusing on, and I'm pretty right. sure that 
that people will hear his album here coming soon. Are you on the logic too? Yeah. Yeah. And you've been using it for a long time. Yeah. Since I was since he was a baby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> since he was a baby. Yeah, there's yeah. no doubt in my mind that you grew up just or music, yeah. music, 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 because that's all your dad has really ever yeah. been. You yeah. know what I mean? I breathe it. So I mean he, he since he was little, man, like he just took on the laptop, look at him and carries that thing everywhere, you know? And right. That's right. That's what he does. Most yeah. kids are playing video games, he's making beats. And and that's probably the best the best lane. He's yeah. got one of the best teachers. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? And that's yeah. one of the best things you could do to keep yourself entertained in Albuquerque. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's one of the best things you could do is just sit and yeah. hone your craft and yeah. sit in, in the crib and, and, and make it happen. Yeah. That's you know? one thing too, like trying to be involved with the youth, you know, like trying to get kids involved with music because it saved my life two or three times. You know right. What I'm saying? And like, I know I can teach some kids out there that don't ever even think in a million years that they'll ever be rappers. Right. I want to bring them and teach them. And, and, and once they hear themselves on one song for the first time, it's like, you know what I mean? Like I hit a crack, you know what I mean? Like they just get so high on it. They want to keep going. They don't want to let it go. Yeah. So we can save some lives, you know what I mean? With the music. Sure. So that's what I want to try to do. And I'm involved with some program with the, uh, Violent, uh, uh, violent intervention program right now. Yeah. And we're we're trying to help the the kids. They're gonna have me going to YDDC and, and all yeah. these detention centers and stuff, trying to go and speak to the kids. And they want me to take a like a laptop, set up a table at these places to actually sit there and try to grab some kids with the music. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm gonna try yeah. to be involved. With Show them how to do it. Yeah. Try yeah. to get them like that because I know I know it'll help because there's the, there's nothing out here for these kids. You know what I mean? No, there's not, man. And yeah unfortunately that is just why a lot of kids end up in the streets and you know the gang life is like you've been through it enough to know that you know what i mean it's, it's, it's how many friends you buried a lot you know what i mean how many friends of yours are sitting in prison a lot you know what i mean doing fucking sentences yeah you know for what for nothing man it's, i mean you know what i mean yeah. because now you're at a point in life where you have children yeah. and you see there's other joys in life and what life is really about. I mean, I'm not knocking anybody for being for, from their hood or yeah. taking looking out for their hood or fighting for their hood. But eventually you get to an age where you say, man, you know what I mean? Yeah. I really just want to live. Yeah. I don't want to put my life on yeah. the line. Yeah. You that's know what true. I mean? That's true. And, and, and a lot of times that's what comes with, with yeah. that lifestyle. Yeah. It's just you're putting your life on the line. Yeah. And the difference now, too, is my son had a kid. I'm a grandpa now. Oh, shit. You know I mean? So there's a third son of Sam right there. <laughs> his, name, his, name is, his name is Sammy, too. You know oh, what shit. I mean? That's so, what's up. So that, like Sammy Sr., I'm Sammy Jr., Sammy the third. Now yeah, my grandson, Sammy the, Sammy the fourth. Damn. That's so, what's yeah. up. So two and one is going forever. Yeah. You know what I mean? Ain't never gonna stop. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so it's it's pretty crazy. Yeah, man. so it's a different outlook on life now. Yeah, you know what I mean. Sure. Yeah. You're trying to make some music yeah. and show your kids the way yeah. and flip you know. it all around, you know, and just yeah. flip it all the way around and just just stay on it, you know. Like I, I want everybody to know that 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 we're gonna be pushing. You know what I mean, we're gonna be pushing. Two and one's not gonna stop. We're gonna come out stronger than ever before. You got um, a project you're working on right now. Yeah, I'm working yeah. on my own album right now. Too. You're producing yeah, it. Yeah, I'm producing yeah. it. Yeah. Any beats from? Yeah. yeah, he's making some beats for me too. Okay. Yeah, you know. Are you guys selling beats right now? Yeah. 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 Um, give them drop whatever yeah. how yeah. to get at you if yeah. they want to buy beats from you. Yeah, you can just go to my Facebook under Sammy Montoya Jr. on my Facebook. Or they can go to my son's uh, uh, Facebook or, or two and one shoddy, you know, on yeah. Facebook, you know, or son of Sam. I got my beats under Shotgun Bangs. You know what I mean, so you can look me up on YouTube or Spotify. All my beats and my instrumentals. I'm even gonna have songs with just hooks on there, so New Mexico artists could just drop verses on there under Shotgun Bangs. So I want all the New Mexico artists to just, if you like my hooks and my beats, just drop on them. All the New Mexico. I don't even care if it's people out in New Mexico. Just I want to see all the people just drop on my music, you know. For so sure. That's what I'm gonna try to do. Is just get everybody yeah. involved, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So what's the name of the the project you said? Oh, uh, my life. My life. Yeah. My life. Yeah. And this is gonna be definitely a different one yeah. because yeah. things have happened yeah. since the so, last album. Know, yeah, and yeah. it's all different. Everything is. It's gonna be about everything about my life, you know. Yeah. So yeah. 
yeah. just uh, what this is basically New Mexico music, you know. That's that's what I'm trying to do. If I have to make a beat for every artist in New Mexico to 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 follow the wave that what I'm trying to do on this New Mexico music, I, I'm trying to make our own sound. You know what I mean? I'm, I want to make it to where to where like everybody is is under a category. You know what I'm saying? Even if it's R and B, even if it's pop, I want them to be New Mexico music. You right. know what I mean? So when you hear New Mexico music. You think it's Spanish music, but we're going to do New Mexico music with a Z, you know what I mean? Yeah. Instead of New Mexico music spelled normal. So when you look up New Mexico music, it's going to have every artist from New Mexico on there. You know? Yeah, yeah, that'd be dope. Uh, some English music, you yeah. know, instead of just... For sure. Yeah. An, another platform for yeah. all these artists to get that exposure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah we, need to, we need to start that because we need our own music, you know? For sure. We do. Like, it's it's... We need to be able to push it out. It's been a long time coming. Yeah. yeah. It's we, I mean, we're, we've all graduated for, for a long yeah. time. And know? the only way we're going to do it is all together. Yeah. That's the only way it's going to happen. You yeah. I mean, like everybody, everybody trying to do their own thing, it's, it's not I see. Happen. I see a lot more unity um, nowadays than I used to. Yeah. You know Before what I mean? When I go out, with we, everyone was at war with everybody. And yeah. now I go out and I see, you know, the young guys supporting each other. And yeah. I go to local shows and it'll be a bunch of the guys there, you know what yeah. I mean, together. And that's that's cool. I mean, we had that, but you know, I feel like there was also some rivalries and X Y Z. You know yeah. what I mean? It's always been like that. You yeah, know, it, it's just something that comes with the game. You yeah, know? With the game, it's just uh, rap is yeah. competitive. Yeah, you know, you, you want to be, be the best one. You have you to, know? you know. Yeah, exactly. You gotta be cocky. Sometimes you know? hurt feelings. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. But it's what it is. <laughs> I'm the best. Yeah, yeah. yeah. for sure, man. It's just well, hey, man. I appreciate you coming down. Thank you, man. Come, come fuck with me. Yeah. Uh, two and one shoddy. Um, get your IGs. Yeah. You got Instagram. Yeah. yeah. I'm under Son of Sam two and one on Instagram. Two and one slugs. Two and one slugs. And YouTube just yeah. two and one YouTube, Son, of Sam. Son of Sam two and one. All the two and one music from here on, it's gonna be under Son of Sam two and one. So, okay. So instead of people trying, to, I know people are trying to look for the two and one music. You gotta put in Son of Sam two and one to find it. Right. You know. Yeah. All right. Well, shit. Once again, yeah. man. Thank appreciate you, you coming down. Appreciate it. Uh, two on one, shoddy. I got you, big dog. Yeah. Let's let's work on something in the future for the world, man. Appreciate it, world. You already New know. Mexico, we're back. Dealers clothing. Yeah. Well.